Happy home emotion. Kuma, Adana, Neka, 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 Neka,
and they do tear their clothes because they see that the silver cup is in Benjamin's bag. And so that's why the Torah portion begins this week with, with um, Judah, Yehuda, saying to Joseph, this can't happen. Take me instead of my brother Benjamin because he needs to go home because his father, and this scripture is so beautiful to me, um, Judah says of his father Jacob, now also let it be according to your words, he who come with, with his just found, I'm sorry, this is something before that, forgive me. Um, this touched my heart this one. I also let it be according to your words, he with whom it is found will be my bondservant, and you will be blameless. And the scripture is, is, uh, follows that which when Judah said, whoever the cup, whoever the cup is found in, whatever bag, whatever brother, the bag, yep, sorry, <laughs> wherever the cup is found, kill that brother, and then the rest of, of us will be your servants. But Joseph instead, instead says this, Now also let it be across your words, He with whom it is found will be my bondservant, and you will be blameless. And so he's saying that, that the one that is innocent is the one who is guilty, basically. And the ones who are guilty, the brothers, who threw him into a pit and left him to die, Soul Joseph, those are the ones that are blameless. Yeshua is the one who is innocent, yet he is the one who is guilty. We are the ones who are guilty, yet he says we are blameless. And that scripture, you know, the, the, the whole story of, of Joseph is it's all about the Messiah. We know, know that of him and how he lived and how he was thrown into a pit, how he was sold, just like Yeshua was sold for silver, but then rose up from the pit. They both rose up and they both became victorious and redeemers, and preserved life. But beyond that, there's all these little sprinklings of that, of salvation, of redemption, all over all over these Torah portions with Joseph, and this one. So it just speaks to my heart about that. So Benjamin, let, it, let, let him be the one who is guilty, yet he's the one who's innocent. So Joseph went to uh, Judah when he is pleading to Joseph to free Benjamin, he says this, Now therefore when I come to your servant, my father, and the lad is not with us, since his life is bound up in the lad's life, it will happen when he sees that the lad is not with us, that he will die. This word, that he is bound up with him, in Deuteronomy where it says to bind my word, the Torah, the, the love letter of the Lord, to bind my word upon your hand. It's the same word that's used. So, so um, Jacob is bound in the same way to, to Benjamin, in the same way that the Lord commands us to bind the Torah upon us, the Torah of life, of truth. And then in Samuel it says, now when he had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was knit. Same word, Jonathan is knit to David in the same way that the Torah is to be bound upon our hand, in the same way that, that Jacob is bound to his son Benjamin, in the same way that our father, is bound, bonded, binded with us. It's the, same, it's the same thing. In the natural, we see Jacob with the son. He loves his son. But in the spirit, it means so much more. We know that. But be reminded that the father, our father, in that same way, is bound to us. We are, we are bound to his heart. We bless your name, Father. Hallelujah. Oh. Now I don't remember how to No, I'm just kidding. Baruch Atah. I am not. Hello, hey, Hello, hey, Hello, hey, I am the one the one who is the my 
Mikhaeviti Mata Ram Yoshia, Mikhaeliam Mikhaeviti, Mikhaeviti Mrahami Rami, So mad and open in the robe, Kohen in the Matiratarim, Umakaye me moonato, Nishane afar, Ni Kamoka the Agamaru to meet a melant, Melant me meet to Makaye. Umas miya ishuwa Beneyamana tamayachayot metim Baruchata Amen Baruch Shemo Mikhayen ha-metim Amen Blessed are you, our God, and God of our fathers, God of Abraham, God of Yitzhak, and God of Yaakov. O great, mighty, and awesome God, you are the Most High God, who bestows loving kindness, who possesses all things, who remembers the piety of the patriarchs, and who in love will bring your redeemer to your children's sake. For your name's sake, O King, Helper, Savior, and Shield, bless I you, Lord, the shield of Abraham. You are mighty forever, O Lord. It is you who revives the dead. And it is you, you that are mighty to save. You sustain with loving kindness. You revive the dead with great mercy. You support the fallen and heal the sick. You lose the battle and, and keep your faith, faith to them sleeping in the dust. You who is like, like you, Lord of mighty acts. And who can be compared Amen. to you, O King, who kills and restores to life? And, and causes salvation, salvation to spring forth. Who is like you, Father of mercy, who in mercy remembers your creatures to life, and faithful are you faithful. to revive the dead. Faithful, faithful, faithful are you to revive the dead. Blessed are you, Lord, who revives the dead.